This is a video shared by Dr. Asani Frederick from Bijaya, Algeria. The case involves a 71-year-old male patient with retinal detachment for two months, along with a persistent temporal choroidal detachment despite receiving oral corticosteroid treatment six days before surgery. The preoperative IOP was in 5 mm of mercury in this eye. To ensure sufficient scleral exposure, a 360-degree peritomy is performed, and the four rectus muscles are secured with silk traction sutures. In situations involving substantial choroidal detachment, it is beneficial to employ an anterior chamber maintainer to regulate intraocular pressure, instead of pars plana infusion, at least in the beginning of the vitrectomy. Following the core vitrectomy, triamcinolone is utilized to facilitate posterior vitreous detachment induction. PVD is a challenging step in such cases, demanding utmost care to prevent retinal tears during the maneuver. Perfluorocarbon liquid can be employed to stabilize the retina for vitreous base shaving. Subsequently, a linear radial incision is made 7 mm from the limbus in the inferotemporal quadrant to facilitate external drainage of the temporal choroidal detachment. Following drainage, the surgeon re-injects triamcinolone over the perfluor bubble to aid finishing the vitreous shaving. The retinal break is marked with diathermy, followed by a fluid air exchange and a 360-degree endolaser application in the periphery. To conclude the surgery, all sclerotomies are closed, and C3F8 gas is injected at a non-expansile concentration.